Greetings to everyone. I am Meher Basrani, currently pursuing Masters of Technology from International Institute of Professional Studies, DABB Indore. This video is a part of my curriculum under the guidance of Dr. Nitin Nagasar. Here I am to give you a brief about the topic merging and manipulating data from multiple tables using JDBC. In the course of the video, we are going to cover various topics that are JDBC and database connection, merging tables, join clause, creating row set objects, join row set. Let's start. First, connecting JDBC to database. The various steps to be followed are number one, importing packages. We must import java.sql package for using various classes and interface of SQL package. Number two, register the driver class. The forename method of class class is used to do so. Number three, create connection. The get connection method of driver manager class is used to establish the connection with database. Fourth, create statement. For creating statement, we use create statement method of connection class. Number five, executing queries. Execute query method of statement interface is used to do so. Number six, close the connection. Close method of connection interface is used for closing connection. Let me explain you all these steps using example for better understanding. Let's first see the table in the database. Here we have a table student which has the following entries, roll number, name and work issue. And in our Java program, we have first imported the SQL package and then we have registered the driver manager class by using forename method. Then we have created a connection using get connection method. Then we have created a statement and executed the query which has returned a result set object. And by using the next method of result set interface, we are printing our result. Now let's just run the program. As we can see, we have got the same table as the table in our database. Now, let us see how we can merge multiple tables. There are two different ways using which we can merge the tables. First, using join clause. Second, using join row set. First, using joins. Whenever we need to select data from two or more tables, we have to perform a join operation. The join clause allows us to retrieve data from two or more related tables into a meaningful result set. Let us see how we can do this through an example. Again, in a database, we have a table named book along with table student, which has the following entries, ID, title, and publisher name. And in our Java program, there is just a change in the query. In the query, we are retrieving roll number, name, and book issued from student table and publisher name from book table. Now, running this program, See, we have got the roll number, name and book issued which was from student table and publisher name which is from book table. Hence, we have joined two tables. Second way to merge two tables is using join row set. A join row set implementation lets you create a SQL join between row set objects when they are not connected to a data source. This is important because it saves the overhead of having to create one or more connections. The steps to be followed to create a row set object are as follows. First, we follow basic steps for creating connection to database. Then we create row set provider object using row set factory class. Then we use set command method for giving queries. Then finally, 
we create a empty join row set and then we add object using add row set method here is an example for understanding it better we import java x.sql package first then we follow the same steps to connect the jdbc to database then using row set provider we create an object rsa and we give query in set command method and then we are executing it finally we create an object of join row set which merges the two table student and book in our database and that's it i hope this video helped you to understand the topic better and if it did do give it a thumbs up and in case of any query feel free to reach me thank you